hello everyone welcome back my youtube channel sales person so this is rohit and today i'm going to show you how to create flow and how to debug the flow in this session so please watch this video until end this is very informative so please watch until end again so let's get started without any further delay so here you can see i just logged in my org that is called salesforce org and if you want to create new flow under this org so you have to go first of all under this setup just click this setup okay and under cube find you have to find your flow like flows so once you search this flow so under process automation you can see one option that is called flows right so just click this flows here and once you click this flow you can see lots of flow defined it by or defined by the salesforce okay here you can see if you want to create your own flow so you can create with the help of this button this new button okay so here you can see this new button that is called new flow so you can create your flow as well right with the help of new so just let me create new flow and there are so many templates under the flow if you want to create new one first is like screen flow record trigger flow schedule trigger flow platform event trigger flow auto launched flow no trigger so i will show you in upcoming session all the triggers so don't worry about that so please keep in touch and here you can see like screen flow right so here just you have to select this screen flow just click on the next and now you can see what do you want to start building like free form or auto layout so this is the auto layout once you uh, create any screen of the flow or any element or anything under the flow so it's automatic arrange or auto layout means auto design okay so let me click this auto layout first of all so here you can see once you click auto layout you can see this is the auto layout thing like start screen flow or end there are two button one is start button or end button in between you can see one button that is called plus that is called add element here you can see screen like this is flow builder and select element undo or redo something like that and some setting this is the toolbox under this toolbox you can see like search this flows and new resource you can create your variable own variable right and here you can see like one button that is called auto layout in beta so you can uh, deactivate this or inactivate this so you can uh, take this benefit from with the help of this one okay so here you can see uh, oh, this is the button bar this area this is the button bar this is the toolbox and this is the canvas this all area this is the canvas this all canvas here you can see this is toolbox and here you can see this is the button bar here right so let me create some element or let me add some element under this screen flow okay so just click this add and here you can see lots of element that is some interaction user interaction that is called screen action and subflow right then we have another things like let me click here and like logic assignment decision loop and uh, collection sort and data means here you can create the record update the record get the record delete the record roll back the record okay so these all so these all elements is there okay so if you want to create uh, like screen flow so you can create with the help of this interaction things right so let me click this screen and once you click this screen you can see like new screen right and under here you can see like component and field beta okay i will show you in uh, upcoming session don't worry about these all things so let me complete this one that is called component here and we have lots of inputs here here you can see like 36 inputs and also display like display text and section there are two section under in it like display and uh, inputs so if you want to take some input from user side so always use this uh, all the things that is called address call script checkbox date first name text something like that file upload email something like that okay and if you want to show something in into the screen flow as a text so you can use like display text so first of all you have to give this screen flow properties like hello world hello world right and here you can see like this is the label okay and this is the api name same thing you can see under the sales for everything is under the api name right and if you want to give any description so you can give otherwise leave it as it is okay so now just let me uh, add this display text here just drag and drop if you want to add something from left side to in uh, this uh, new screen window so always drag and drop and 
here you can see this drag and drop functionality right and it's asking me like api name so you can enter the api name that is called text or hello world something like that or let me say like message okay here you can see and if you want to take some resource from your existing so you can take with the help of this uh, lookup but you can uh, write your static text here let me uh, add like hello screen flow or hello world something like that okay like hello world if you are new or if you are writing some uh, something under the any programming the first program should be like hello world as you know very well like c c plus plus java dot net php if you write something first program so always you always you write like something hello world right that's why i'm uh, writing this hello world here because of this is my first screen flow here that's why okay so i am uh, writing this one here hello world and just click on this done button and after that you can see my screen flow and screen flow having one element that is called hello world this is the screen flow and you can see one button that is called save so you have to save this one first of all and it's asking me like flow level so what what is the name of flow like hello world right so after that you can give any description so there are so many advanced option is there so don't worry about that leave it as it is for now just save it and once you save it you can see hello world version one this one you can see right and if you execute this flow so here you can see the different types of options like run debug activate so let me activate first this one and after activation you can see this flow under salesforce or as well you can use this flow anywhere otherwise you cannot get this benefit right and here you can see one button that is called debug so let me click this debug button here if you want to debug your flow so you can uh, debug with the help of this button that is called debug okay otherwise you can run directly so let me run directly first of all so just click this run button and here you can see my flow will be execute after some time here you can see like hello world so this is my flow name hello world you can see in the title and hello world you can see right and also you can see hello world right and once you finish this you can see my screen flow word that is called hello world we already defined this one right also you can close this one and also you can debug this one so just click this debug after debug you can see in right top corner that is called debug details so it's asking me some inputs from user side so for now i am running as it is here and now you can see like debug details so how interviews started so every flow screen flow having the interview like start interview and interview and transaction comments for now you can see like api version in the running flow you can see 53 because it's a winter 22 or so here you can see like rohan singh this user id has started the flow interview flow uh, this one so how to um, execute this one so just click this finish button and after that you can see here here that is called here transaction complete and screen hello world display text value is hello world you can see and after that you can see like next and you can see all the transaction or uh, all the interviews successfully so suppose that i want to debug this flow with the help of some error so how to do that just let me close this and let me add some element under with the help of this plus button and click this add element and now let me get the element that is called get the records just click this get the records here and this like get records something like that so i want to get the records from the account object so how to get that uh, account object record so just search like account here and you can see my account object and i have some conditions like account id account id here equal to zero something like that so it's never possible you know very well so it's throwing some error that's why i am debugging this flow right now so just done and after that you can see one more element that is called get record here right and again you have to uh, debug this one like debug and once you debug this flow here it, uh, it is asking me some 
inputs i don't have any input right now just click on and now you can see hello world and hello world this is the display text and this is the level of our screen flow right once you click this finish button so it's throwing me some error you can see in the red line here just one once you finish this one just click this finish so here you can see this is a screen flow like hello world and hello world this is the display text once you click this next button okay just click this next next button and you will be get some error in red color like please contact your administrator or something like that because our query is different like account id is uh, never as a zero you know very well okay so just click this next and you can see some error that is called an handled fault occurs in the flow so you can contact your administrator something like that and also you can see here that is called interview like and also i will get some email from the salesforce side i got it here you can see like flow application error occurs right so i will show you this error so don't worry about that so now first of all let me show you this one that is called this interviews so this is a screen and screen text you can see like hello world and once i just clicked here you can see already like next button so it's asking some get records find the all contacts is id equal to zero is never possible not possible so here you can see like store the value of these fields in get record id and fail to find here you can see like fail to find the records right and you can see like error occurs this error occurs when the flow uh, try to look up this query like where id equal to zero that is not possible and it's a line of uh, like you can see like row one column 32 invalid id zero okay that is not possible so how to debug all the things so you know very well this is the first way to debug your uh, flow and how to check this flow where uh, it is happened like any default is there or not so you can check in under your mail okay so how to check the mail let me show you so here you can see i got some email from uh, salesforce side like error occurred during the flow hello world the error something like that okay and you can see one uh, url here this is redirect in particular uh, element where you uh, causing some error or you get the some error in particular element once you click this one it's the automatic redirect but let me show you first of all these all interviews like flow details you can see the flow details words and screen flow and organ organization like infosys like flow and interview details like hello world and this is guid global id here and this is the user creation start time duration 32 uh, so, sorry 26 seconds here how to interview starting you can see here transaction comment and start like screen flow is running right now once you click this new button it's getting some error you can see each and everything under this mail so just click here that is called this link debug the failed interviews in the flow and it's the automatic redirect the salesforce or, or salesforce flow builder screen and it's automatic highlighted that element when uh, you got the error so you can see this red mark let me zoom out here and here you can see this is the red mark because of it's failed the our uh, screen flow uh, once you getting some records it's failed because of our query is not successfully done now you can see like failed to find the records here right here you can see some error and also you can check these all things under the salesforce as well so how to check that so just click this setup here and search like fails and pause el uh, element this one flow interviews just click this one and you can see like all pause flow interviews or uh, all failed flow interviews just click this one failed and now you can see here that is called my version this is the second version you can see just click this one that is called hello world and now you can see it's the automatic redirect in particular flow builder where you cause some error here you can see this error right so guys this is the way to create your screen flow and debug the flow okay so i hope you learned something new in this video and please subscribe my youtube channel salesforce hunt and please support me and it's a very good uh, interesting topic and we can uh, we also known as like uh, point and click tool declarative tool automation tool because of workflow and proxy builder will be deprecated in upcoming years so that's why flow is the future so please stay tuned with my channel and please keep watch and please save your life. Thank you. Bye-bye.